Today on our 2017 Kia Soul, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Kurt Class 1 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C11419. So here's where our hitch looks like fully installed in our vehicle. Now the cross tube is mainly going to be hidden up behind the bumper and we're mainly just going to see the receiver tube sticking out. Now it is a class one hitch, so it's going to give us that inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube, and it has a nice reinforced collar, giving it added strength and a nice clean finish look. Now the safety chain loops are going to be a ruled steel stock style, welded to the bottom of the receiver tube, and as you can see, we're not going to have any trouble getting most size hooks on or off or worry about interfering with anything. Now our hitch is going to use a standard half inch pin and clip, which is included, so you're not going to have to worry about picking one of those up. Now our hitch is going to feature a 200 pound tongue weight and a 2000 pound gross trailer weight rating. Now I do want to mention you always want to double check with your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure that your car can handle that amount of weight. Now the manufacturer does recommend that you use a stabilization strap on any non-trailer loads, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier, and you can pick one of those up on our website using part number 18050. Now, I'm going to give you a few measurements that will help you when deciding for new accessories for your hitch, such as a bike rack or even a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is 6.5 inches. Now, from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening is just under 11 inches. Now, to get our hitch installed, we're only going to need a few tools. We're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench, a ratchet, and a 17 millimeter socket, and finally a torque wrench to torque all our bolts down. Now that we've gone over a little bit of the features and what we need to get it installed, let's show you how we got it done. The first step in our installation is we're going to come to the back of our vehicle, and we're going to come underneath so we can see the frame, and we're going to be checking the connection points. Now we're going to have a weld nut on the bottom of our frame here at the end, one on each side, and then on the side of our frame, we're going to have another weld nut directly next to the one on the bottom, and then if we move forward just a slight bit, there's going to be another one. Now I'm going to take a nylon brush and a little bit of spray lube, and I'm going to clean them out so I know that my hardware can get in there okay. Now we're going to need to lower our exhaust to make our installation a little bit easier. So if we come to the passenger side, we're going to have a rubber isolator connected to our muffler here. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of spray lube to help ease it coming off. I want to mention that we are going to be lowering it, but we have our axle here that will support it so we don't have to worry about it falling down too far. Now before we put our hitch in place, just want to go over the hardware with you. We're going to be using the weld nuts that are existing in the frame and we're going to take our M10 bolts and we're going to be using our conical tooth washer. Now when we go to install these, we want to make sure that the teeth on the washer are facing the hitch. Now with an extra set of hands, we're going to put our hitch into place. We're going to slide it over the exhaust. Here on the driver's side, you may need to move the wheel wall liner out of the way a little bit. Then we can get ready to put our hardware into place. Now I'm only going to put one bolt in to keep everything from falling just so it can support itself. And once we have one bolt on each side, we can go and put the rest of our hardware in place. Now the bolts that are going into the side of our frame are definitely going to be hard to see and show you where they are. Now I'm going to come back and using a 17 millimeter socket, I'm going to snug up all my hardware. Now for the bolt here on the driver's side that's right by our EVAP canister, I found it easiest to use a ratcheting wrench to tighten it up just because there is such little clearance there. Now I'm going to come back and again using a 17 millimeter socket, I'm going to torque all my hardware to the specified amount in the instructions. Now we're going to repeat that for all the remaining hardware. Now we can go ahead and raise our exhaust back into position and slide the rubber isolator back on the hanger. And that'll finish up our look at the Kurt Class 1 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C11419 on our 2017 Kia Soul. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.